Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some massive DLC data mines to take a look at for the Indigo Disc. Basically the whole Pokedex has now been leaked for the second expansion of the Hidden Treasure of Area Zero DLC. We're going to be getting into all of that today and then a few other things for the Teal Mask that you probably missed as well. Plenty of things to get into today and break down though. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we have Matt here tweeting out about all of the Pokemon that have now been leaked for the Indigo Disc DLC. Um, we have Matt saying, surprise, more part 2 Indigo Disc leaks. Game Freak left in Habitat text data for DLC 2, which includes all species slash forms, which lets us confirm the entire Blueberry Academy Pokedex. Not included in the image are species 1013 and 1017 to 1023, which are internal IDs. Dex order is unknown. So this is the Blueberry Academy Pokedex. So obviously there's, there's all the returning Pokemon in here for the Indigo Disc, but as well as that, there's also the Pokemon that are going to be part of the DLC as well. Like we have the slacking line in this Pokedex. Slacking is already in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, but it's going to be part of the Indigo Disc DLC. Just like in the Teal Mask, uh, I'm trying to think of a Pokemon off the top of my head. Um, I think, uh, I don't know. Just a, basically a Pokemon that pops up in Scarlet and Violet and the Teal Mask um, is still going to be on the Teal Mask Pokedex because it spawns in the Teal Mask. So anyway, let's take a look at this Pokedex. So we have Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and Venusaur. They're going to be part of the actual Pokedex. So you, it's not like the Gen 4 starters in Teal Mask where you can obtain them, but they're not part of the Pokedex. Like these are actually, you're going to have to catch them to complete the Pokedex. But yeah, we have Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Squirtle, Wartortle, Blastoise, Sanshu, and Sandslash. Again, they were returning in the Teal Mask, but they're also going to be in the Indigo Disc. But again, they're going to be part of the Pokedex as well. Same as Vulpix and Ninetales. We have Oddish, Gloom. We have Vileplume. Uh, we have Venonat, Venomoth, Diglett, Dugtrio, Tentacool, and Tentacruel finally make a return. Um, so I guess Battle Toadschool and Toadschool. Uh, we have Geodude, Graveler, Golem. As well as that, obviously, all these forms are going to be transferable through Pokemon Home as well. Like, we already have them in the Teal Mask, like Alolan Sandshrew, Alolan Bullpix, Alolan Geodude. Like, if a Pokemon has a form and it's in the game, their form will also be in the game via Pokemon Home. Um, we have Slowpoke, Slowbro, so obviously like Galarian, Slowbro, and Slowpoke would also be available. Uh, anyway, Magnemite, Magneton, Doduo, Dodrio, uh, we have Seal, we have Dugong, Grimer, Muk, Execute, Executor, and Alolan Executor, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, obviously Galarian, uh, Muk, and uh, Grimer as well, or Alolan, Grimer, and Muk, uh, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, Chansey, Horsey, Seedra, Scyther, Electabuzz, Magmar, Tauros, uh, Lapras, Porygon, so Porygon's going to be available as well, so that means like Porygon 2, really annoying to evolve because there's so many items needed in that evolution, and they're all trades as well, but either way, uh, those are all of the Generation 1 Pokemon that are going to be in the Teal, uh, in the Indigo Disc Pokedex, now of course, uh, there's other Legendaries as well that are going to be available in the Indigo Disc, they're just not going to be part of the Pokedex, so for example, in the Teal Mask, like Jirachi's back, Fion, Manaphy, Darkrai, they are available in the game, but just not in the Teal Mask Pokedex. It's going to be the same situation with the Legendary. So I'm assuming all Legendaries are going to return in the Indigo Disc, but they're just not going to be part of the Pokedex. Uh, next up, we're moving on to Gen 2. We have Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium. You've probably already seen the pattern that all the starter Pokemon are part of the Pokedex in the Indigo Disc, meaning we can catch them in the wild and stuff anyway. But uh, we have Cyndaquil, Quilava, Typhlosion, Totodile, Croconaw, Feraligatr, Chinchou, um, also, uh, oh my god, Lantern, Blossom, Sloking, and Galarian Sloking. Uh, we have Girafferig, Snubble, Granbull, uh, Quillfish, and uh, Hisuian Quillfish. Uh, we have, um, oh my god, Scizor. <laughs> it's very early, I apologize. Skarmory, Kingdra, Porygon 2, Smeargle is back as well. That's a big one for, for competitive and stuff. Tyrogue, Hitmontop, Elekid, Magby, and Blissey. So those are all the Gen 2 returning Pokemon. Moving on, we have Trico, Grovile, Sceptile, Torchic, Combuskin, uh, Blaziken, Mudkip, Marshtomp, and Swampert. Uh, we have Slackoth, Vigoroth, and Slacking. Plusle and Minin return. We have Nummel and Camerupt, Torkoal. We have um, Trapinch, Vibrava, and Flygon. We knew they were back anyway, but uh, it's nice to see them back. Uh, Swablu. Uh, we have Alteria, Zangoose, Surviper, 
Uh, we have Love Disc, Beldum, Metagross, and Matang. And that's all the Generation 3 Pokemon. Moving on, we have Turtwig, Grotal, and we also have Torterra, Chimchar, Monferno, Inferni, Piplup, Primplup, and Empoleon. Again, they're available in the Teal Mask, but they're going to be part of the Indigo Disc Pokedex. We also have the only fossils that are returning in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is Kranidos, Rampardos, Shieldon, and Bastiodon. We have Hapini, Luminion, and Finion. We have Snowbur and Abomber Snow. Uh, Snowbur, not Snowbur. <laughs> Snowbur, Abomber Snow. Magnezone, Rhyperia, Electivire, Magmortar, Porygon Z, uh, Rotom. So those are all the Generation 4 Pokemon returning. Generation 5, we have Snivy, Savine, Superior, Tepig, Embor, em uh, Tepig, Pignite, Embor. Uh, and then we have Oshua, Duwat, and Samurott. We have Blitzel and Zebstriker, Drillbur, uh, and Excadrill. We have Cottony, Whimsicott. We have Sandal, Crocodile, and uh, well, that whole evolution line. We have Scrafty and Scraggy, Mincino, Cinchino, uh, the Gothitelle evolution line, Solosis, Duosian, uh, that whole evolution line, Deerling, Sourcebook, Aloma Mola, uh, Galvantula uh, line. We have the Tynemo, Electroc, Electris, whatever that line. Uh, we have Axew, uh, Fracture, Haxorus. We have Ch uh, we have Kubchu and uh, Beartick, Golet and Golurk, Rufflet and Braviary. And then uh, the Mandibuzz Evolution line. And that's all the Generation 5 Pokemon. Uh, next up, we have Generation 6, which is uh, the Chespin line, the Fennekin line, and the Froki line, Fletchling line, uh, Litleo line. Uh, we have the um, Esper line. Uh, we also have the Malamar line. And those are all the Generation 6 Pokemon returning. Moving on for Gen 7, we have Rowlet, Dartrix, and Decidueye Litten. Uh, the Litten line, we have the Poplio line. Uh, we have the two cannon line as well, which is finally making its way to the Switch. This wasn't available on the Switch before, so that's cool. Crabrawler uh, line, we also have Oricorio, the Dupider line, Comfy, Minior, Bruxish. Those are all the Gen 7 mons. And then moving on to Gen 8, we have Garuki, Thwacky, Rillaboom, Scorbunny, Cinderace line. We have the Sobble line. We have Sinisty, Holtigeist, the Milstery line, Duraladon. Um, and then we also have Cleabor as well, which is very, very interesting. This is going to be available in the wild. We'll talk about that more in a second. And then also we have the... I don't know why. This is like the only Gen 9 Pokemon that are here, but Farigaraph and then obviously... Um the uh this this line as well and then walking wake and iron leaves so those are all of the confirmed returning pokemon in the indigo disc dlc we also have soul silver talking about this as well saying the most interesting thing about uh the, the most interesting thing about this is that cleavor is in the indigo disc regional pokedex so that possibly there's an artificial habitat somewhere in the blueberry academy terrarium that allows either the black augurite to be found all the perfect conditions to allow Scyther to evolve into its apparent extinct evolution. Of that it's the only Hisuian Pokemon here though too, but maybe there will be more to the reason that it's here than what I'm saying. Like, why no weird here? So, yeah, really weird that Cleavor is available in the regional Pokedex. Um, it's a little bit like Blood Moon Ursa Luna, but uh, yeah, that like like Soul Silver says, there might be some sort of way to evolve it. I mean, there has to be some sort of way to evolve it, unless we can just find it um, in the wild, just like we did with like Blood Moon Ursa Luna. But who knows? Either way, that's very, very interesting. But uh, yeah, a solid Pokedex to be fair. It's not bad at all. Um, there's a lot of really cool returning Pokemon here, but again, some big boys that I have missed out, like Alakazam's not in it, Machamp's not in it, um, I'm trying to think some other ones as well, but uh, yeah, there's there's a few that didn't make the cut, which is really unfortunate, but uh, yeah, that's basically every Pokemon now that is going to be in the Indigo Disc, plus probably the Legendaries, there's probably going to be a few more home transfers, but uh, yeah, we, we've got a solid Pokedex selection, but uh, unfortunately not the, uh, not the National Dex. Uh, moving on, we also have a little bit more information about the Teal Mask here as well. So we have Joe Merrick here saying, Did you know uh, the Glimmering Charm, which obviously you get for completing the Teal Mask Pokedex, boosts the Terra Shards, but the amount it boosts are great. It gives you an extra slot. It only works on three to six star uh, raids. A five star raid will give you 10 more Terra Shards than you would have normally got. So it's actually a massive boost to be fair because Terra Shards are a little bit annoying to farm. So getting like an extra 10 from like a five star raid every time that's like huge. That's like massive. That's a really, really cool boost. So I'm really excited to see what kind of item we get for completing the Blueberry Academy uh, Pokedex. But uh, either way, I thought I'd include that in because that's obviously some really cool information. And then also finishing things off, just a little bit of news. Sarah B tweeting out saying, Sarah B update, Pokemon will be doing a collaboration with the Van Gogh Museum starting September the 28th, 2023. Uh, the de details are being added. So yeah, if you are near the, the museum, 
around the 28th of September. Then, yeah, Pokemon are doing a little exhibition there as well. So pretty cool. But uh, that is going to be everything for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, what are your thoughts on all of the returning Pokemon? Uh, is, is your favorite returning or is it did it not make the cut? Let me know. Uh, obviously, leave a like if you enjoyed. Let's try it at 500 likes. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Thank you again for watching. Though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.